Hi guys and welcome back to another Semprinter TV video. In today's video I'm going to take a look ahead to Inter's match against Hellas Verona. We come into this match off the back of a disappointing 3-2 loss at away from home to Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League in midweek. I just want to quickly touch upon this match before progressing into the preview. I felt in the first half we were absolutely excellent, there wasn't many complaints that could be had but the second half was just inexcusable. Uh, Antonio Conte in my opinion got it completely wrong, the team were absolutely exhausted and I mean this shouldn't really be much of a surprise to Conte given the amount of fixtures we've played lately. Off the back of this I'm fully expecting the team to want to go out and give a reaction and right the wrongs from Tuesday night's match. I have no doubt about it that we'll want to get back to winning ways and obviously keep the pressure on Juventus at the top of the table and perhaps even surpass them kind of depending on how they get on over the weekend. Hellas will be the third newly promoted side that we'll face at this early stage of the season and unlike both Lecce and Brescia who have, with all due respect to them, kind of struggled and not really adapted all that well to Serie A, eh, Hellas have actually done quite alright and find themselves in mid-table heading into this weekend's action. Hellas are on quite a good run of form at the moment having won three of the past five fixtures just like ourselves. They have also won two of the five away games to date. Whilst we were able to win our first three home matches, we have we have only managed to pick up just one point from a possible six available to us in our past two, which which is a bit of a cause for concern. And I really hope that this trend doesn't continue into this match and kind of pass this match. As for some team news, then it looks like Stefano Sensi is going to make his much anticipated return to the starting lineup. Sensi returned to action after injury in the defeat to Dortmund off the substitutes bench and. I presume he'll probably replace Matis Vecino in the midfield, although I wouldn't be all that surprised if he did replace Marcelo Brozovic instead. In recent weeks, Brozovic has showed signs of visible fatigue and, I mean, th there's been times where he's looked really off the boil lately, so I guess it remains to be seen whether Conte decides to put sense in for Vecino or Brozovic. Danilo D'Ambrosio could also return to action eh, after injury. D'Ambrosio broke his toe whilst on international duty with Italy a few weeks back and Whilst it looked like he might have been in the squad for the Dortmund game, he, he was seemingly still feeling a bit of pain in that foot. And I think if he is to be kind of past fit for this game, it will only be for him to make up the numbers on the bench. Both Roberto Gagliardini and Quadro Asamoah's conditions are reportedly to be evaluated ahead of the match. Gagliardini missed the match against Dortmund for muscle strain, whilst Asamoah missed the match for a knee problem. One player who will certainly be playing no part is Matteo Politano. He got himself injured having come off the bench against Dortmund and the club have since confirmed that he has sprained his ankle and it looks like he's going to miss the kind of coming weeks due to that. Thankfully though, it is the international break so he might well return for our first game back after that. Despite many of the team being absolutely exhausted, I would like to hope that they can find a little kind of extra in the tank and kind of push us over that line and send us into the international break with a win. Therefore, I'm going to predict a 2-0 victory for us with both Lautaro Martinez and Romelu Lukaku getting on the score sheet. That's all for today guys, be sure to let us know down in the comments below what your thoughts are ahead of the game and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on push notifications.